Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Devin. Uh, today I'm going to be doing just a little bit of trail work, like always. Uh, I do need to start off watering these uh, fruit trees, not fruit trees, um, chestnut trees. Uh, so I'll get those watered and then take the jugs back. I'll grab the chainsaw, pole saw, shovel, and work on that uh, little crossing area again on the, the new trail. There is a new trail I may work on today, and that's not an ATV trail. That's going to be for deer going through. So we're gonna make one distinct trail all the way through. That trail's right behind the pond. We're gonna have a little uh, T coming off of it that goes around to one of the areas where deer like to access that pond. And then at the end of that trail, man, I'm really rambling about this, points towards where we're gonna be putting in that back food plot. And we've got a salt lick there right now. We're gonna put in another uh, uh, deer feeder, uh, corn feeder right there. Anyway, we just need to clear it up and make it one very clearly defined, easily maneuverable uh, deer trail. Uh, and then we are gonna put in a uh, tree blind uh, on that trail. Man, I, I just wanna water these trees, honestly, and just start walking through the woods again. Uh, but I got a little bit of work to do here while I'm here. Uh, so yeah, I need to get after it. Another thing I need to do today is when the kids are riding in the back of my side-by-side, -side, the dust and the grass and everything gets sucked in from behind and it, it just creates a whirlwind back there on them. And when we were out here the other day, my son was driving, uh, wife was in the front, daughter and I were in the back. And I didn't, that was the first time I'd ever ridden in the back. I didn't realize how bad it was uh, until I was back there. So I bought a back panel um, to put up and we'll see how that goes. I'll install that today. Uh, and by the way, it was a, a custom panel and I think it cost delivered $30 or less than that. Uh, whereas the ones that I was seeing on um, websites that are made specifically for this were, you know, $200. So we'll give this a shot. So I got three trees watered before I got distracted uh, by the set of trees back here. Went strolling through there. I'm going to go ahead and finish these last two trees and then I'm going to grab the GoPro and just walk through there. You guys will probably think it's just nothing, but I don't know. I just love it, man. I just love walking through the trees and Ryan does too, but I'll go grab that camera and just do a little quick little walk through. Pretty neat area. I think you guys will probably think just trees. Um, and yeah, I guess it is, but I don't know. I just felt the need to go walking through. I'd never walked back here. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I found. And also it looks like an armadillo has been plowing his way through. Does that show up? Can you see how he walks along with his nose in the ground? And then back here is a large oak tree. I don't know if it's still alive, but this has got some growth all over it. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. So this is the side with the, the least amount. Some type of mushroom. Can you see that? I don't know if that's zooming in or not. But around this side, there's so much more. Just to show you the size of it, here's my hand. Sounds gooby. Oh, a lot of it over there. And it's just, it's a little spongy. It's dry. It's kind of tacky, actually. Oh well, I thought it was interesting. So the chestnut trees are on that side of it. And then if we turn around here, Another opening over here. I have never been over here. So more game trails. I don't know if they're showing up on the camera. So see the game trail right through the middle here. And then I didn't see any, any deer rubs. Oh, I take that back. That's not a fresh one though. But there's quite a few scrapes where they're, you know, scraping the ground. So more deer sign here. 
Uh, we've got a rub. And remember, it's, it's late in the season here for antlers. But this is a fresh scrape. I don't know if that's showing up for you. So can you see the game trail running right through there? And then if we turn it around, you can see it mainly goes to this side. Gah. Let's see if I can do this without losing an eye. All right, back to another open area. Now back here, I don't know if these are moles. See all those piles of dirt? And you can, we can follow it. Okay. Here you can see a little bit of our elevation change around some of our water systems, waterways. I don't know how well this is going to show up. We even had rain in about three weeks. We had a dusting of snow a couple weeks ago, or probably three weeks ago. But Ryan and I love going through these uh, these creek systems. We're like little kids. All right, a little bit more uh, elevation change. This is where we just took a turn. I don't know if that shows up. Everything's brown on brown right now. Golly, I don't, I mean, moles, I don't know what it is. Can you see? Ha. Can you see all this digging? Very fresh here. Gosh, I'm gonna lose an eye. All right, where am I here? Through here, maybe? Over here? Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry for that distraction. Um, I really need to do something productive out here. So let me go take these jugs back to the vehicle and grab the saws and get after it. All right, changing things up here. Uh, I did not grab any of the saws, didn't grab the shovel. Instead, I grabbed uh, some clippers and weed whacker, and I'm gonna work on that trail we're putting in for the deer uh, on the back side of the um, pond. Man, there's just, there's rubs all over the place. That three right here, four. Anyway, lots of deer activity here. Um, they enter right here. There's another entrance over there I wanna look at. Maybe we can merge those two uh, further back into the trail. And then this trail, once again, this is going north. It's going to go past a salt block, past an area where we're going to be putting in a, another feeder. And then it goes back to the future back food plot. Um, so anyway, already good activity here, but want to really try to funnel them into just one outing and then make that one clear of those thorny vines. Uh, just make it easier for them. All right. Uh, for this, I'm just going to try to use clippers, which I have back here. Uh, if it gets a little bit too much, I may use this fixed blade. Um, weed eater, weed whacker, I don't know what you call it with the fixed blade. Um, you know, the ones with the nylon string, we just called weed eaters. Anyway, uh, hopefully I don't have to use this, but it does get pretty hairy in there after a while. So we'll see. Anyway. Locked and loaded. That's ridiculous. Now we're off. All right, so I cut it. Where are you? You're way down here. 
I cut it around there uh, to the pond entrance. Need to cut away through there. Uh, right now I need to just clear out some of that stuff I cut. All right, so this deer trail is done. Uh, all the way through, we got the pond going up to my left. The south entrance is right behind me. There were already a lot of rubs through here from deer, uh, which is always a good sign. So I know it's an active trail. Hopefully it'll become more active, but anyway, it's gonna be an easier trail for them. Man, those thorny vines are just the, no bueno. <laughs> I'm struggling with this microphone. So here's another split that I put in that also goes up to the, uh, up to the pond. And then coming out of this little wooded area. So they come out right behind me there. Now we're in this open area. We've got a salt block here. Uh, we are gonna be putting up a, a feeder for next season. And they come right through here, back into another wooded area into our back food plot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up a, a game camera here right now. All right, put the trail cam up. I almost forgot to turn it on, which I have done that in the past, maybe more than once. All right. All right, pleased with this game trail. All right, so just installed this, and I only half installed it. It's not even half. I have only a few holding this thing up. Uh, I bought four inch of these doohickeys that's holding it on. I'm gonna try some six inches and see if that doesn't work a little better for me. What I plan on doing when not in use I'm gonna roll it up and definitely use a six inch on that one. But I could just throw it off and throw it on whenever the family's coming on. I mean, installation's a breeze. They made this uh, exactly to the measurements that I asked. So they did great. Um, I am really pleased with the product itself and it's silly inexpensive. Like they really need to be charging more, but shh, don't tell them. All right, I almost got out of here without doing a sign off. Um, Man, when I arrived here, I thought I was gonna be working on that ATV trail today. In reality, I didn't even make it that far back on the property. I started and finished that deer trail, uh, which I'm really happy with. Put up two cameras on that, so excited to look at that footage in a couple weeks and see if anything's using it. Uh, I figured out the orientation and the location of where I'm gonna build that firewood storage uh, shed. I don't know what you call it. Just the open air. Uh, it's covered. It'd be a covered storage for it. I installed that back um, that back mesh shield on uh, my side by side, which actually I'm really happy with. Uh, also removed the two back uh, side net curtains. Those have been wrapped up ever since I bought the thing. I don't know why I left them on there. I did a lot of walking through the woods again. Uh, found another spot that maybe uh, would be a future ATV trail. We'll see. Uh, also spent a little bit of time trying to figure out what we're gonna do with the new shipping container. So new shipping containers arriving, uh, I don't know, a week and a half or so. And we just gotta figure out how far away from the current shipping container because we wanna build that covered area between the two to capture rainwater. Uh, and then we're gonna need to relocate uh, the existing solar panels that are on there. Weather was perfect. You never know what you're gonna get this time of year. Uh, it was below freezing four days ago, and then two days ago we hit 85 degrees here. Crazy. Today's beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. I uh, really appreciate your support, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.